Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mac Tonic Questions and for the amazing iPad and today I'm using for the first time this reflection application so I can see what's happening on my iPad and record it on the Mac. It's been sent across the air to my Mac and I've got ScreenFlow running. So there you go, I can scroll down on my iPad and you can see what's happening on there. Now what I want to do today is I want to have a look at the application called Blogsy. It's a good little application for doing some blogging when you're using your iPad and I got it because the first time I was trying to do some blogging with the iPad I was using a WordPress application on the iPad it wasn't going very well so I wanted something a bit more something that worked a little bit better so what I did was I thought well let's have a look at Blogsy and Blogsy when I first got it wasn't that good but it's got better over time and there's been a recent update to it as well so it's got to be a little bit better again so let's have a look at this here. Well, let's click on the plus button at the top there and start a new document. And what we can do here is we can uh, start putting some text in there. Of course, you can get the uh, keyboard up there and type in uh, whatever you want. When you have those little grey triangles there, basically what you've got is a place to start typing within your document. So I did a bit of uh, entering some text in using the dictation in the iMac because it's so much quicker than doing typing, whether it's on the screen of the iPad or whether it's on the iMac as well. Dictations are just brilliant on mountain lines. So if you haven't tried it yet, do give it a go. So let's do a paste and I'm just going to say remove style uh, or you can do keep style if you want to. If you've got some style quotes in there, but uh, I don't think I have any, anyway, but I'm going to do remove style. And if you wanted to do a block quote, you can do that. So I'm going to click on remove style and just put the stuff in there. So I'm going to select that bit there and I could make it in bold. I can do it in italics. I can have it underlined or I can have it with a cross through. And that's for setting the character type of formatting on something. So now I'll just put the cursor within that area there. And this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it to be heading two. So that's quite easy for doing headings. Very good. Now another thing that you're probably going to want to do there is to put some pictures in there. Okay, so I've got this set up as a WordPress blog, so let's click on that there. And I can choose images that I've already sent to the WordPress blog. It takes a little while for it to populate there. But I can take one of those pictures here, so maybe you want to take that picture there. And all I've got to do is to just drag it and drop it into my post. Wasn't that easy? I wonder if I could move the uh, image once I've put it in there, but... It's a little bit difficult to do that. But one thing that you could do with this, though, if you want to move the image afterwards, is you go to the other side of it, which gives you the HTML code. And this time I'm going to select, and I'm going to cut that. And I'm going to move it down a couple of paragraphs. And I'm going to paste it in there. Okay, so now what I do is I go back to the looking at the other side of it. And you see my picture has moved down a couple of paragraphs, which is just what I wanted to do. What would be nice is if I'd be able to do some text wrapping around this image there, but I haven't got a way of doing that unless I have something set up so that I can type in a bit of a code and do something like Text Expander, which doesn't work with this blogsy, and then have it so that I put in the HTML code in for making the text flow around the picture, either to the left or to the right. Obviously, you're going to want to put in a title, so let's put in a title there. Using Blogsy. There you go, that's in there. Publish date. At the moment is automatic, but I can set that to be tomorrow if I want it to be. What about if I want to get a picture in from Flickr? I can do that. Go and have a look at my photo stream. So, for instance, if I wanted to put this picture in here, just do a bit of a drag and a drop. This time I'll try and get it in the right place. There you go. So you just hold it until it uh, makes the text move around it to where you want it to be. So that's that done. You can bring in videos from YouTube. So you can go to uh, My Uploads. So I could bring in one of these videos and uh, just throw it in there. So for instance, this iStudies Pro. Let's just throw that in there just to show how it works. I wanted it at the end, but it um, kind of like dropped off my end of my finger before I could get it to the end, but still. At least it's in there. I can go over to this other side here and I can take the code for the uh, video, which is this code here. So that set of code there. If I want to move it to the end there, all I've got to do is copy it and move it down a bit. So I'll not do that for the moment, but I can do that if I wanted to. So there you go. I've got a video in there as well. So what I want now is I want to bring in a picture from my photo library. So I think if I press on that one there, this is from the library. 
and I want to go to the photo stream. As you can see, I've already got a picture there. Now I've got some pictures sitting in these things here, ready to be uploaded. For the life of me at the moment, I don't know how to get those pictures out of there once they're in these little things, but uh, I'm trying to drag them out, but that's not going to do it. If I click on upload, this tap to upload at the bottom here, that's going to upload everything there. But anyway, let's just uh, go ahead with this. So let's just drag that, put it over there. And there you go. I've got uh, one picture that's going to be uploaded to the Flickr library and another one's going to go to the Mac 20 questions. So I'm going to click tap to upload and it says I've selected three images to upload and I can click on upload or I can do cancel. If I do cancel, it still doesn't take the pictures out of those little envelopes there. So let's click on upload. Well, isn't that nice? Those things are being uploaded now. Uh, one of the things that you might want to do there before you start uploading images is that you want to make sure that the sizes are correct before you upload them because you want to have the pictures done so that they're the right size so they download quickly when your users visit your site. Okay, so these pictures have been uploaded now. Well, two of them have anyway. Now I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this, bring it in over here. Okay, so this time I've got that little image on the screen there to let me know that it's going to go in the right place. So I can let go. And now that picture is in my blog post. How about that? And that is how to make a blog post using Blogsy. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to make the text flow around the images. I'm going to show you how to put links into the text. So this is Dave Allen for Mac Turner Questions and for the amazing iPad website. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye now.